Hi, in this quick start tutorial, we're going to show you how to use Shopaflow's Webflow app to launch a Shopify product page in Webflow in less than two minutes. We are going to use Shopiflow's demo Shopify store. If you just want to try out Shopiflow but don't have a Shopify store yet, or you want to skip the installation and data sync process, this tutorial is perfect for you. Let's dive in. Open any Webflow project, and in the designer mode, go to the Apps section on the left sidebar. Type Shopiflow in the search bar. Select the app and click Install. In the opening screen, I am asked to log in. If you haven't created an account yet, you can do it here. I am just going to log in. After the login, I will be sent to Webflow OAuth screen. In this screen, I select the project where I'm going to use the Shopiflow app. I select the Shopiflow Quick Start project and click Authorize App. Our installation is complete. Now let's go back to the Webflow project and open our newly installed app. In the Welcome screen, I am going to select the Shopiflow's demo store. We are also provided a guide that contains the same steps that I'm going to show you in this tutorial, but for now, I will just hide it. In the Home screen, go to Installation section and turn on the Auto Install. This will inject the Shopiflow script to the head section of your site automatically. Check the I Understand checkbox, click Save, and publish the project. You can verify the installation by going to the Site Settings and opening the Custom Code section. Our code is here. We're done with the installation and ready to build. Go back to Home screen again and open the Store Builder. In the opening screen, click the Add New button. On this page, we're given all the components to build a full-blown Shopify store. Click the Buy module. In the opening screen, select a product from the list that are available in Shopiflow's demo Shopify store. I will select the iPhone and click Copy Component. Now let's just paste it to our page. And we have a Shopify product page made of native Webflow elements, all editable and ready to be styled. Let's take a look at them in the Navigator panel. At the top level, we have the product container. It is automatically assigned the SF product attribute that stores the ID of the selected Shopify product, and it contains all the other components related to this product inside of it. All other components are also automatically configured and ready to use. I'm going to quickly just tie up the page by adding a container and a section around my buy module. Before publishing our site, all we need is a cart component in the same page. Let's also add it using the Shopiflow Webflow app. Go to Store Builder and click on Cart Module. In the opening screen, select the Width pop-up from the drop-down so it opens when a product is added to cart. Click Copy Component. Go to the canvas and paste it in the body. The cart pop-up element is made visible with the addition of the SF Cart opened class. Whenever a product is added to cart, the cart pop-up element and everything in it gets the SF Cart opened class. So to hide it, I simply remove the SF Cart opened class. Make sure your cart pop-up is visible whenever it has this class. Let's now remove it and publish our site. Our product page is ready. The image gallery, variant options, SKU, and the available item count are automatically populated. The product image gallery and the price component is reacting to the changes I make in the buy module. Let's add the product to cart, and it is added with the selected options. Now just click the checkout button, and Shopify picks up from this point on. We have completed a static product page setup. If you are ready to build a fully featured Shopify storefront using Webflow CMS, dive into our easy-to-follow guides and kickstart your project today.